Well, oh, let's see, let me put it on full screen for just a moment. Eh. Welcome, one and all, Navigator EX here with a little bit of Armored Core goodness and uh, what the hell? Updates. Ha! You don't need no stinking updates. You can put that off for a bit. So, yeah, Armored Core 4. Starting smoothly as always, because why the hell not? Shutting up for the intro. So, we have the Tokyo Game Show going on right now in Japan, and what could possibly be more? Japanese and a bunch of big-ass robots slapping each other around. Hey, even though Mech Warrior was a thing that, it, that happened, and um, Robot Jocks was a movie, and then there was Exo Squad, but you to hell with those guys. This ain't those guys. This is Armored Core 4. What the hell ever. So, let's see. Thank you hard drive space still sign into xbox live ah regulations blah 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 not that i think the regulation thing will matter because i'm not connected to online let's see something real quick i still got my old play file right here holy crap um huh It's like I kind of want to see what I ended up with by the end of the playthrough, but I can come back to that later, maybe. I'm not going to promise anything because my memory is utter shit. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and make a new file because why not? Or intro bits, I believe. Oh, okay. Well, we got some more setting stuff so armored core 4 takes place well after three and let's see what all of the plot do i remember um because i know it's not a lot that i remember you got the 
old style ACs, they've fallen out of fashion in favor of these newfangled nexts, the old ones being called normals now. And nexts require people with a certain level of like psychic ability to power and the special generators and shit in there are run on like Kojima particles or some such, but they release a lot of radiation in the environment so everywhere these things go the environment is tainted i'm sure there's a nuclear proliferation message in there somewhere but what the hell ever giant robots slapping each other around um aside from that the story is basically the same armored core affair of a great destruction happened corporations run everything and you are a mercenary oh so let's see what we got music Schematic data paint. Okay, looks good. Looks good. Key type and key type type A. Let's view that key config. The site. Okay, good. The site's properly inverted the way God intended. Auto site, auto boost, weapon auto switch. Yeah, because I totally need some kind of aim compensation because we've all seen uh but that's not the problem i always had with this game my, my problem with armored core 4 was not my own inability to aim although that didn't help nor was it the massive difficulty spikes though in less of a case than last raven that didn't really help too much either is the fact that uh this game takes a sizable departure in control from previous armored core games it's a bit twitchier it's a lot faster i mean look at these ac designs too they're they're nuts they got french in there and the little thing i don't do french i don't know shit about france i know they have good food and good countryside okay time to learn okay let's see move my ac to the target destination that feels like movementy uh I might have to turn the sensitivity down. I'm not sure about that yet. There we go. Turn AC three times. And adjust view. Alrighty, reset. Oh, good. It shows on the controller, too. Okay. Oh, nice, simple tutorial. Sadly, a forced tutorial. I don't think games should generally have forced tutorials. But, uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's the boost. Let's see. Auto boost to avoid sinking in water. Boost drains the energy. Boost dash. Okay, okay, I missed that part of that. Boost dash when used on land. Directional flight when used in air. Okay. You can kind of fly around a bit, and it's nice. Oh, fast though. Your 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 bot does not stay on screen the entire time. Oh, that's um, it's rough. Whoop. I do like the fluidity of the movement, though. Let's see what the oh new uh new objectives. What happens here? Ah, that is so nice. Kind of makes hover AC legs a little bit redundant, though. I'm sure it is. But if they're still in here, that there's some reason for them. But I'm hard-pressed to think of one. Regardless, that energy meter does not seem to be rising, like, at all. So, let's... Huh. Interesting. And moving. Okay. To the designated area. Full disclosure, my chat device right now, my phone is charging and it is a little further away from me than I'd like. So, can't see too well. Oh, quick boost, so. Oh, this is the thing, isn't it? Oh, this, whoop. Yeah, this is the part that kind of wrecked my shit when playing because I was bad at quick boost. It's like, got this rapid sidestep and, uh, burns through a lot of your energy. And it was kind of necessary in some battles, so woo, I'm gonna have a hard time remembering that. Okay, so why is overboost? 
It sure is pretty. It sure didn't take you very far. Damn it. Yeah, that is... I think quick boost plus... Uh... Boosters might be more my speed instead of overboost. Let's do that again. Whoop! Sure has some flash, though, to it. Mm. Oh, boy. Now we're getting to the real shit. Okay. Weapons. So, right weapon is A button. All right. All right. Fixing you to an enemy target. Okay. Oh, so locking. Okay, got it. So locking is the left stick button. Oh, man. I'm not going to remember that. I, I know I'm not. But I do have the manual that I have a problem remembering to use, but hey. Game, let me... And then there's this asshole... And do I have to go back to the other asshole? Do I have to alternate? Let's see. Okay, so left weapon. All right, cool. So teaching about locking on targets and using your weapons. Target locking is going to be useful. If I don't remember that, it's going to be a bad day because of my shit awful aim. Okay, so rifle. Right arm. Let's lock onto him because... Why not? Okay, laser cannon. Can I move with this? Okay, back is equipped with laser cannon. It looks to be on my left side. It's a left weapon. Okay, got it. Laser blade. Okay. Hmm. And swing. Ba -da -ba -da. I like the destructible. Element held in tune as well. Okay. Missiles. It's on the right. Yeah, nice salvos of missiles just being poured out of that giant box on the shoulder. Uh, there's a bit more spectacle to this than previous ones. I mean, obviously the hardware upgrade. Okay, so the shoulder button's going to be weapon switch. Missiles up. Missiles down. And then we have a big bastard laser gun. Big bastard laser gun down. So shoulders for weapon switch. Gotcha. I wonder how much of this configuration I could take back to the other AC games. You know, get used to the basic config here and then try and set it as close to, to this as possible in, let's say, Last Raven, for example, because I would like to Go back to Last Raven just to get more of those missions and such. Okay. So B button for shoulder weapon, what? You got a totally different button for a shoulder weapon? What even? Okay. Huh. Now that's just weird. I'm sitting here thinking of the weapons that are mounted visibly on the shoulders right there, and that suggests to me there's another weapon that I'm not seeing in this loadout. That I'm, I do not remember the AC loadouts here. Okay, so use the radar to locate and destroy the enemy. Let's see, looking up. Okay, switch this thing. Okay. Okay, so. So basically I've got two sets of missiles on from from what this is telling me. The missiles that fire by B button. Missiles that fire by being equipped in the A button. Okay. And I'm already firing with the wrong button. That's that's a great start. Woo. <sighs> yeah.
Enter pilot name. Here we go. Here's the fun part. Let's see, backspace. I know this is going to cause confusion later down the road, but hey. That works. Ooh. Okay. One moment. Because I already feel my superpower waning and gotta fix that no coffee today just delicious barks root beer which i'm sure i've already mentioned my past memories of before on stream ah uh, let's see so select a craft we've got this thing sunshine Oh man, I knew someone in high school who just hated being called Sunshine. Sunshine. She would hit people for that. Not gonna name her because she'd probably hit me for that too. She found out. Okay, so Sunshine. Okay, G A America. You know, you know, I am playing Metal Wolf, and uh, an American-made rig. Look, it's all blocky and chunky and everything. It it looks purpose built for function over form. Okay, we got Eck Ball. It's a lightweight, sacrifices defense for heightened agility, so that one's off. Telus. Leone Mechanica. Nice sleek design. Let's see, reliant on energy weapons though. Hmm. Zero four seven a n, nice, but it's a sniper, and no thank you. Aaliyah by Ray Leonard. So fast AC. Ogire well balanced general use. So looking at Hogire and Sunshine. Okay, what do we got? What's that big bastard gun? Heavyweight, high defense, massive, powerful weaponry. Now we've got we got that. We can hit things really, really hard, or we can hit things kind of hard but look better doing it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the America machine. Yeah, yeah. It's dumb, but whatever. I can, I can change things up later if need be it was the death of a legend and the mass filtering of technology the man she saved was an unrivaled razor paired with the next craft used by research and development in her experiments the colony anatolia fell into a sharp financial crisis after losing its sole specialization in technology relying on a mercenary for hire was the inevitable resolution I used that man and threw in her. I make no claim to righteousness. It was simply the only one who could have made it happen. And thank you for that wonderful narration, Hallam Andre the Fourth. So, uh, uh, good stuff. Mm. Oh, critique. Neat. Some of the people I'll be pummeling on. Later in the game. Ah. Hmm. Let me get my bullshit ass comment board right in front of me first. Because uh I'm gonna peter out pretty early on with caffeine, I think. So best to make sure that I don't completely lose my mind. Ooh. So Griffin, the independent city. We're on our first mission, our first actual mission. And I remember a little bit of this one, just the audio chatter. I, they go out of their way to make you feel like a badass pretty early on. I mean, they fix that later in the game. I mean, you feel like a badass to start, and then they feed you your own ass. Holy crap, this game gets a bit of a spike in difficulty. Oh, but it is what it is. So let's get that 
fun first bit out of the way. First strike. Clearing this mission will lead to the next chapter. And that's another neat thing. It has the... This one... Last Raven and Nexus, they really started stepping up their narrative game, I think, a good bit. And now you've got, like, clear delineation between chapters here. So let's let's do this. And we head out the door. Something about the cutscenes gives me this Dark Souls vibe. Something about it, about the presentation. Um, and it's not just that it's from software or anything like that. I'm, I think it's the film grain and, and the lighting. Okay, here we go. Now let's see if I can remember my controls. Ooh. Alrighty, time to scoot in there and pop some heads. Wakey, wakey, minions. Just the idea of an armored core with, like, energy shields, though, too. I mean, just the hell. Alright, yeah, these little chicken walker chumps. Boom! Everything cleared out. The freedom of movement, though. Holy crap. Oh! And a quick reminder of where things came from. Hello, normals. Let's see. How you doing, buddy? And switching weapons. Probably should have switched weapons in the start, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, one down. Where's the other asshole? You're not hiding from me, are you? There's all this building space. You can only hide so long before I hunt you down and crush you. Oh, shoot. That's a ring out. That's a normal, though? I mean, it almost looks like a freaking MT. Mission complete. All right, yeah, a little cinematic camera at the outset of the mission. Ah. It's that satisfying curb stump after a little bit of difficulty in previous missions, carrying blades and then. Uh, what was the other thing? Hmm, I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking of Alcatraz from uh, Metal Wolf as well. Okay, C rank. What would have gotten an A or an S? Holy crap. And another satisfying little bit. I don't have to press the... Well... Oh. Economica. Totalitarian rule by the companies beginning after the National Dismantlement War. Their aim being the tempered redistribution of the planet's limited resources. These wise, fiscal masters took hold of resources and markets alike, driving people into the colonies and lives of harsh labor just to eat. After missing the boat in the development of the next, the new symbol of company power, GA was nothing but an antiquated giant. That was exactly why they accepted our offer. Merck's piloting next were the result of unsavory political machinations. Wizened warriors abort insignificant nests. They had no use except as political pawns. Back then, that was what everyone assumed, myself included. So that tells me the mistakes were made at some point. 
Oh, but yeah, it's nice not to have to prompt the text to go. Makes things nice and smooth. I kind of had to listen for and guess for cues for a lot of those, so hence the longer and shorter pauses. Uh, new things, new toys, and FRS memory. This... Now, in this AC game, I tended to tune more because they hit you in the face with it. It's right there. Okay, got some more sunshine schematics. Judith, Alicia. Alrighty, so let's let's take a quick peek at schematics. Hmm. The hell? Everything's red. Oh. Oh, some of my old bots are down here. Alrighty. Huh. Number 10. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go back and look at some of my old machines. Ugh. Guess I'll just label mine in this game with 2019 or something. Alright, let's see. Weapon. Assembly, paint. Where's the tuning going to be? Okay, can't edit standard schematics. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and you can rotate the thing here too, so. Nice! Okay. Guess I'll create a new schematic. Ah. Uh, name length is shortened. That is not a permanent name. That's just something to keep it visible and remind me what I'm working on. Okay, main... What the... Alright. Now... Where's all that tuning goodness? Ah, oh, this is just for... for equipping parts it seems okay um, menu hmm eh, I'll figure the tuning out in a little bit I mean after all this is one I actually bought retail so I still have the manual in solid condition ah a little dabbling in the menus Okay, so let's see. Swarms of red eyes. Dangerous war. Operation Descent. With one gigantic tower in the middle of an open field. Yeah. What's elimination? Okay, so Swarms of Red Eyes is a protect mission. I think I'm going to opt out of that one because I'm bad at them and I'm taking the easy way out again. So you know what? No, no. Swarms of Red Eyes it is. I need to get out of that habit. I need to stop. Picking the easy way. Let's confirm the mission. A fleet of unidentified submarines is closing in on the EOC launch site. The ship's wake characteristics indicate they're Omer's Saucy class special subs, likely loaded down with Omer's explosive self destruct weapons. You'll stand by on the peninsula and intercept the incoming self destruct weapons with a volley of fire as they approach the launch site from the shore. Those are your orders. Oh god, if this is the mission, I think it is. I thought this one was later in the game. Like, much later in the game. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're gonna find out my level of skill right here, right now. Oh man. So anyway, yeah. Oh! Oh, and now we have the slowdown. Come on, hit. The enemy fleet is in shore mode. Take a deep breath and move out. Okay. And oh, the little patience game here. So yeah, apparently Final Fantasy VII is featuring pretty heavily out of that uh, 
Tokyo Game Show this year. I mean, I kind of figured it would, but yeah. A lot of stuff coming out of it. Oh, hello. Thought you could sneak by me, you fools. Ah. Looks like I'm wasting a lot of missiles. Uh, hello. But, um, trying to think. Some of the stuff that um, is on display has to do with the new combat system and uh, classic mode that they're touting. And apparently they've made the classic mode to be a bit more like uh, the ATB battles of old. I'm seeing where they're, what they're talking about. But from a lot of the comments that I'm reading, it's a tad on the divisive side. Um, because, for one, auto attacks. Um, there's a bit of commentary to the effect that you won't be able to control every character, which some of the fans of the series seem to be a little disappointed with. Uh, you can check comments on GameSpot and uh, Game Debate, both to that effect. Um, oh man, this is not good. Where are my weapons? Come on, guns. Uh, this is the part where shit gets hectic. Uh, back is literally to the wall. Uh, thank you, because there's a lot of them making it through now. Okay. But yeah, of, of the stuff that I'm seeing, though, for uh, for that FF7 remake, it's looking nice, but... Uh... Oh, boy. Need better, stronger, and faster weapons, I think. Ah. No shit. Oh boy, that oh weapon auto dropped. Is that it? Oh, oh you absolute dicks! Oh what? What just happened? Are you serious? Seriously here? Okay, so Xbox 360 just locked up. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back, King Thunder. You came in just in time. <laughs> oh my god. Microsoft. Someone. I don't know. No doubt this is Microsoft's fault, but I'm blaming you guys anyway, explicitly. <laughs> but not really, though. Oh god. What? What even? Let's uh, reset. Let's uh, let's start this over again. Oh, oh shit! I didn't save, did I? I hope that game has auto save because I do not believe I saved. Damn it! All of the technical difficulties at once. All right, taking a break with your college studies. Alrighty, well, just hoping I don't. Just tr detract too much from that. Oh, what the oh, 360 controller? Everything all at once. Ah, controller. Oh, you will obey. Let's see. So no auto save. So I guess I'm gonna have to blitz through that force tutorial again. Ah, of course. Regardless, I'll just pick a different mission. Okay. So what was I saying while I'm getting back to things? So FF7's classic mode. They only have 40-minute uh, gameplay thing up. Um, a number of sources have it by now, but I saw it first on GameSpot. Why did I hit download? Damn it. Oh, well, it's a short download. And I like I like the idea of classic mode. Um, they, the combat slows to an almost frozen state so that you can kind of input commands, but it's it's not true ATB, and that's what a lot of fans are apparently getting pissed off by. Um, 
is that it's not like proper ATV. I'm like, okay, but it doesn't look bad per se. Let me get the overlay up as well while I'm sorting this shenanigans out. I see. Whoop. Okay, but um, yeah, still interested to see how it goes because visually it still looks incredible. Uh, I might take a little longer dip into that trailer after the stream because I only got like a cursory glance. I wanted to see what the deal was that people were complaining about. Let's see, load game. Oh boy, no, no save. So, starting over. Joy. <laughs> Hard crashes. And it's not even a Bethesda game. Oh man, new game it is. Blech. Well, I guess I can skip the cutscenes. Let's see. Where's that? E types fine. Continue. Mmm. Classic mode. Yeah. It's like they have the full real time battle solution where you can just like hack and slash your way. And I think you can, I think you can like switch between party members like one at a time, but then you got the classic mode and it's like it slows to a crawl. And I think, I think the real big thing people seem to be pissed off about is the not being able to control everyone completely. All right, up, down, up, and reset. There we go. Just blitz through these tutorials. Um, and I'm not really sure why the auto attacks are so much of a disappointment, unless it's like an ATB gauge thing where the auto attack kills your um, ability to act and you have to wait for the meter to build up again. That's like, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, this, this is not a good and you guys should not do that. But yeah, I do want to look, look more at that trailer, see if I can analyze a little more closely. Because, I mean, because, I mean, not having played a lot of FF7, I'm really kind of the outside looking in type. So, ooh. And I would like to rectify a bit of that. Oh, boy, this, this game's... Oh, this overboost feels so mushy. History, Professor. All right. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Why have I not watched that yet? That needs that probably needs to be my next good movie. I already, when was the last bad movie I watched? I'm trying to watch some good movies and some bad. No, I was, you know, told, told my mom and my brother I'd watch Wind Talkers. Ah, I need to put that on the list though. A right weapon and fix the view. And left weapon. Ah, uh, because the last really good movie I watched was Citizen Kane, and I mean I just wanted to get that kind of off the list, not counting Avengers Endgame, but you know, different kind of good movie. Okay, use a laser cannon. But like critically acclaimed classical movies. My last good one was Citizen Kane. Whoop. So I would. Okay, missiles. Okay, whoa, wrong button. Oh, man. There's a lot of gaps in my back movie. You, it sounds like you got an awesome history professor there, though. You, occasional movies in the class, you know. I mean, a lot of history to the movie field. I find it relevant. Okay, let's see. Right weapon. Where's, where's the enemy asshole? Um, let's see. And I'm assuming that dozing off was not a result of the movie. Left weapon. Oh, let's see. Okay, Paul Newman, I'm trying to remember, but I know Robert Redford. Holy crap, that man is great at what he does. Let's see. All right. And see, shoulder weapon. And next shoulder weapon.
a uh, little robbing across uh, territory is not bad. Oh man, Paul Newman. Oh, I'm trying to remember who that. Hmm. I know I'm probably butcher this, but was he in Cool Hand Luke? I know I'm gonna regret that guess. Uh, the tutorial. Oh, you can quit the tutorial. Holy crap. Well, it forces you to start it, at least. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I did not remember that. Oh, well. Admittedly, though, with my inability to remember basic uh, buttons sometimes, I figured, you know, the, re the refresher course is nice to have the tutorial there. I just was under the mistaken impression that... Uh, you had to complete the tutorial again. Ugh. Let's see. Let's see. And I picked Sunshine Four, so let's just sling back into that. Oh man, westerns though. That's a that's a dying genre. It's like. How often do we get a Western anymore? And we get we got a few good ones here and there. Um, last decent one that I saw though was a was a remake, the Three Ten to Yuma version with um, Russell Crowe, I believe. Not counting Million Ways to Die in the West, but okay. Skipping briefing. Hmm. Paul Newman. Oh, two thousand eight. Hmm. Yeah, there's another Robert Redford movie. My mom's partial to this one called The Last Castle. It um, involves him being like a military higher up. I can't remember if he's a general or what, but he winds up going to a military prison and runs afoul of the warden and uh, hilarity ensues, but not so much hilarity as much as drama. But, um, okay. Well, what I've seen, it was pretty good. Okay, come on. Kill all these small fry real quick. Okay, here we go. Switching back and forth between these enemies. Mow them down real quick and get on to the next. But yeah. Robert Redford, though. Not a whole lot of stuff that I remember him for. I really don't remember his role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe all that well, but he was fun when he was there. Had a brief appearance in Endgame. Okay. More of these guys. Oh, here we go. Normals. A little bit faster. Let's see if I can break that C rank this time. Okay. Nope. Come on. Ugh. I'm wasting so much ammo. Yeah, figured I'd go heavy here. Um, partly because this is a machine by GA America, and you know, with Metal Wolf being a thing, I figured <laughs> be appropriate. Okay, who's this? All right, and that's gone. Where's the other normal? I'll just I'll go ahead and mow this guy down, hiding behind buildings like some kind of sucker. Oh, he's gone. Oh, whoa, now the camera gets a little nauseating. Yeah, the water not being an instant kill. I kind of forgot about that until starting this over again, but seeing the booster on there. Oh, I still got a C rank. Um, but during the tutorial, playing around with it earlier in the stream, I noticed the energy wasn't coming back up while hovering on the water. I'm curious. I kind of want to play around with that a little bit. Just see what happens. If I can deplete my energy and see what happens. But I'm not expecting like to really drop dead in, in the water. Okay. So Swarms of Red Eyes is out unless I get substantially more ammo. Uh, let's see. Elimination. Dangerous Waters. Oh, no mission time bonus on most of the... There's an ammo quota bonus on this? What even? 
That's nuts. Yeah, middleweight. Hmm. Yeah, I did. I generally in the previous games I leaned more toward the middleweights, but I don't know why. I just kind of felt like I wanted to start with the um, heavyweight this time. Aside from the America joke. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. It's nice to have that balance, though, of a, of a middleweight. Let's confirm the mission. Eliminate the unidentified faction that has invaded the Razgul Colony's subterranean facility. Enemy forces are presumably few in number, but we don't have any specifics. Those are your orders. Yeah, swarms of red eyes. And because of that mission's... Um, because of how that mission plays out, I, I seriously remember that being much later in the game, and then all of a sudden, it's like the second non-tutorial mission you can access. That's your target. Head down there now. I'm going down. Whoop. Bloop. Oh. 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 You're not quite on the water surface. Tried to rise. Did not rise fast enough. Okay. Here we go. See if I can do this without oh up 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 not on the mines the mines oh hi ammo yeah oh whoa hello hiding behind columns like some kind of sucker i'm sorry did i did i give you permission to hide in that corner no thank you sir oh man Oh, targets destroyed. Oh. The mission was a Good work. Oh, yay. That's already done. Nice. Yeah, rifles. Let's see. Oh, for um, swarms of red eyes. Wow, I'm a little loopy. Uh, oh, there's an A rank. Ooh. I get a little bit more used to these controls. I'm pretty sure I could top that A rank pretty quickly on that mission. Too bad you can't go back and replay them for some time. Hmm. And and as far as operators go, I swear of all the AC games, Anatolia seems to be like the most caring of all of them. She se she just seems to be the most personal. The rest of them, they seem like they're just kind of doing business it's like your mission's complete let's head back to base and she's like i'm glad you're all right so that's nice that's a nice little character touch all right let's see descent sharpshoot the title alone worries me about sniper and sniper usage let's go uh operation descent first cyclical power plant megalis Oh man. Let's confirm the mission. An electrical plant Leonie Mechanica is building has been taken over by an armed anti establishment organization. Eliminate them. A small cadre of normals constitutes their chief firepower, but they've gotten control of some of the facility's security laser cannons. This is a level three protected area. Finish this operation as quickly as possible. This transport ship would be a sitting duck for those lasers. You'll be dropping down to the facility's core from a high altitude. Those are your orders. Oh, man. And so many dick jokes that I'm just going to completely avoid making for the sake of completing this mission. Because, holy shit. Too easy. Let's see. Lana Nielsen. Yeah, um... Nell seemed to show a little bit of a concern, I want to say, in, um... Was she was she was Armored Core two right? If I remember, Nell Otler was was two or another age. I'm drawing a blank exactly, but I'm thinking of the one in two. If I've got the name wrong. Um. All right. Whoa! Hello. Okay. Oh, here's where that quick boost comes in handy. All righty. Uh. And descend, and I forgot what I'm exactly supposed to do, but it involves killing parasites. I'm sure. 
Okay, where, where are the assholes? Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, please, please, I'm right here. And I'm already forgetting what buttons shoot things. Ah, stop using their shoulders. Oh, yeah, here's where that middleweight would come in handy. Turning is a bit rough. Okay, here we go. And come on. You don't make me bust out the missiles. You you know what? No, no, I'm busting the missiles out right now. You you want to play that game? Big guy? Can't dodge everything forever. Alright. Please head back. Re normals, okay. Oh man. It's nice to see where a bit of where I was going bad in my original playthrough, because quick boosting was this thing, it's like I knew it was necessary at the time, but I just couldn't get a feel for when it was really necessary. And I don't know that I'll do much better now, but it's nice to go back and It's nice to go back and see a little bit of that. Oh, boy. Ooh, so that's what, like three missions? As a matter of fact, um, given the way things were a minute ago, let's go on ahead and... Uh... Oh, man, I almost forgot. I don't want to save over my old file either. That would make me sad because, you know, I just want this time capsule of my old machine. It would be something to go back to maybe at the end of the stream, look at some of my old machines, which are always, which apparently all had nav something in the name. <laughs> uh, not going to complete that. Um, I'm not going to continue that that naming convention. That's basically for the purposes of just designating a role, nav, and then roll. Uh, let's see, so sharpshooting. Nah, I'm going to skip that for a bit. Bald Dora. See, game, why do you have to go and remind me about that damn Dora the Explorer movie, man? I was having a perfectly good gay and you know, day. <laughs> Perfectly good game day. Let's go with that. And uh, <laughs> you had to bring this this mess up. Oh boy, whatever. I'm gonna take that mission out. Blech. I do want to go back and look at that old file. Uh, accept this mission. Blah. Let's confirm the mission. The Maglev Liberation Front is White Africa's largest anti-establishment group. You'll attack their fortress and former Gelta, take out the entire squad of guards. The old Gelta fortress is a holdover from the wars of ethnic cleansing. It's a natural stronghold, protected by the canyon's walls. The fort's defense... Ooh, I missed that back down prompt. ...that the old large barrel fixed cannons set along the canyon boast impressive power and range. Those are your orders. Okay, well, since I've already screwed up and started this mission... Ah... Uh, yeah, I got the back down thing right as the uh, mission briefing started. So I just missed it. Oh boy. This is going to be rough. Let's see. So take out the cannons was what I got from that. Just take out the cannons. Will I even live long enough to get to cannons? Nice emblem too. That's an interesting emblem. You'll be entering the fortress's fixed cannon firing. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's stick to the walls. See what I can... Okay. Stick to walls and try not to... Whoa, hello! Get out of the way. Hello, gentlemen. Are these the... All right. Come on. I don't know if these are the guns in question, but I'm trying to keep on my toes. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now back down a little bit. There's someone here who's being a butt. You, you, sir, cut that, cut out. Ooh, boy, this quick boost. If it weren't for quick boost, I would be running right into these shots, like every time. Whoa, hello. 
Whoop, and even get a little air here. Just nail the ever-loving shit out of them. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, and there's one behind me wants to be... A no. Oh, yeah, no, you go. Oh, so the side ones aren't the ones to worry about. Okay. Uh, ah. Let's see. So, a little bit of light cover. What we got? Ooh. Oh boy, this is opening up a tad. Right. So what is which weapons my missile here that's just burning through missiles? I really need those. Is it my right weapon? Huh. Seems to be my left weapon. Okay. Okay. He's gone. Okay, that's... Mm. Alright. Oh, whoa, I just got hit by something. Something stunlocked me. Sirs? Oh, was it you? Cut that out. Don't be rude. Here we go. Okay, these guys. Alright. Whoa, hello. Down. Okay. Okay, so turrets are, that I'm looking for are much further forward than this. So I'm basically just wasting ammo by sticking around these guys. Got it. Okay. Well... It's time to blitz. Let's see if I can... Okay, hello. Okay. Get up top real quick. Hmm. Oh. That guy looked like... A real chum. Oh. Oh. the hell? Can't even lock onto him for a second. Okay. And I'm down like a quarter of my... Ooh. AP. Oh, them. Those. Those look like big meaty guns. Let's take these out. Okay. Uh, I'm missing something here. What? Where are the other targets? Are those up here? All right, gotcha. You're the edge of the area. Okay, those missiles firing, they always fire in bursts like that. Okay. See, because I've, I just didn't realize that I was just dumping a lot of missiles just right out the gate, and I'm just like, wow, I'm wasting ammo. I'm not used to firing whole volleys all at once. Oh, hello! Is that turning to greet me? Alright, you think you're the last one? Is that it? Oh, boy. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. Who's left? Oh, and welcome back, Alaskan Emily. Hello, hello. First episode of Armored Core 4 going here. And where... I'm trying to find one more big-ass cannon, because I have... no idea where it is, so I gotta... put a recon. Okay. Probably somewhere really obvious and right in front of me, but I have no idea. All right. You're the edge of the Vertical limit. Or is it on the back half here? Oh, I'm running out of juice. Let's see. Oh, destroy the fort itself and the normals. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's start with the normals because I'm running out of ammo. All right. Yeah, I knew about the normals being third gen ACs. That was that was something that when I got into this game, I thought was really cool. As like, because I'd read prior that because I got this well after it was like released, um, and I read that basically every generation was like a complete reboot. But then they had that little tie, and it was really nice. It's nice to have some semblance of familiarity with the old franchise. Okay, so it's three normals. So when I found that out, I just... Oh, hello. hello. I just really wanted to play this that much more. All right. Yeah, the AC2 reboot, though, the... Get your ass to Mars. That was, that was good stuff. Okay, one normal left. Hello. This is the last of them. The last of them and I got like 64 shots to do it in, so... Yay! Okay, don't want to ring out right after I won the mission, but holy crap. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sitting here trying to remember which AC games were on Earth and which were on Mars. But, uh, yeah, the ooh, D rank. Yeah, I, I can get that. I was burning a lot of ammo at the start. Oh, that balance. Um, but yeah. When I read that whole AC three to four connection, it's nice though that it is to know that at least through four, they're pretty much all in the same universe. Let's see. Okay, an original AC. I would like to see an, a first gen AC normal up against uh, the modern stuff. Because, I mean, they have something similar to first gen ACs in. Uh, was it Silent Line and Nexus? The hangar ACs, basically. And the, uh, the non OB cores kind of take the, the slot where the, the old gen ones would be. So you have. ACs with similar capabilities just by lacking the extra features of Exceed Orbit and Overboost. So that would be really cool to see in, in this. Oh boy. That said though, to counterbalance the speed of those ACs and their, their particular abilities, these ones, you've got potentially precog pilots and the ridiculous twitch controls and so... I'm, I'm curious. And Nine Ball, it doesn't matter what generation he's in. He... Well, he, it, they, technically? Nine Ball, regardless, is a force to be feared. And holy crap. Oh. Would it be they plural because of the, the whole AI thing? I know there were two Nine Balls in that first AC1, in that last AC1 mission. Holy crap. Five Mind Collective. Th Nine Ball Collective. Wow. I am about to fall asleep. Damn it, Soda. You have betrayed me. <laughs> but, yeah, I think I can sling one more mission in here while I'm thinking about the logistics of... Ooh, how many Nine Balls it would take to clear out this world. Okay, so Swarms of Red Ice out until I learn... <laughs> Better ammo conservation. Let's see. Sharp shooting. Hmm. I kind of want to cross it off. Yeah, the uh, reactors in here and their Kojima particles. Not even being as big into Metal Gear as I was at the time, I still had a chuckle when I saw the Kojima particles and kind of made the nuclear proliferation connection. Nine ball would use a royal way. Holy crap. Okay. Stomp a royal purple mud hole in my ass. Ooh, if only I could get good enough to beat the two nine balls in that mission. So let's go pop into sharpshooting real quick. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, man. Yeah, Kojima turned himself in radiation. Hmm. Okay. Ignore enemy forces, take out the cannons. Yeah, um... Kojima, yeah, that'd be his revenge against Konami. It's like, how can you get away from my wrath if I am the very air you breathe? Oh, man. You actually beat both nine balls. Holy shit. That is, that's pretty, that's pretty baller right there. That is pretty hardcore. It would probably take me a few months of just straight grinding to get to the point where I could consistently beat one. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay, time to rock this as quickly as I can. Okay. Am I closing distance on blowing up this cannon? That's one down. What's the other one? Hello. Uh, I'm not locking. Holy crap, my AP is gone. Lock on to the cannon game. I am going to... I'm dead. Hmm. I mean, I was kind of expecting to get wrecked, but not quite that fast. Yee! Of course, there are a lot of bullets. A lot of bullets flying that way. I'm going to try that up to two more times. And I'm going ahead and sign off. Let's see. Going ahead and do this without nuking my old save file. And let's see. Grenades, Karasawa, and H+. It's still crazy, though, just how, how hard Nine Ball is to take on. Oh boy, this mission, because I I made it a point to beat every mission in the game when I play this. I, I want to say I've beaten every mission in the game. Um, So this is one I vaguely remembered. I remembered it being a super short mission, no matter how you slice it. But it's really short and you either win quickly because you struck right, or you die quickly because everything hates you forever. And they are also armed. All right, let's see. Whoa. Hello. So, 4K. 40K. Like Warhammer. Gotcha. Here we go. Oh, hello. Uh, up. No, that is not the unit that I want to lock on. Come on, game. Whoa, where the hell did half of my armor go? A quarter of it right there. Whoa, back, 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 back. Time for what? Time. Okay, not trying that one again. Fighting four nexts at once. I seem to remember that one. Um, I'm trying to remember because I want to say one of the ACs begins with an A. Their name starts with an A, and it's one that they it gets referenced in other media. I'm just gonna do a different mission. I, I don't think I'm up to that task yet, because that was a curb stomp. Woo boy. Uh, it's like it's like birthday candles under a flamethrower. That's how quickly I got melted. Okay, Sandstorm Citadel. Elimination. Oh, what the? And that would be... Beholder... These PHB, sorry, I'm having difficulty reading the name because of the small size of my monitoring device, so thank you for that. Thank you very much. Okay, new parts and weapons. Oh, I think I'll actually save that for next stream because I'm really just mostly getting used to actually playing this stream because I'm so it's, I'm so out of practice with this one. It's been so long since I played it. Of course, going through the tutorial one and a half time probably... Probably helped. Okay. 
Swarms of Red Eyes? <gasps> oh, I'm going to have to save that one for at least next week. But uh, only because it just destroyed me. I mean, oh. Yeah, I remember Swarms of Red Eyes. It's one of those missions, it's like... I can imagine Armored Core players with, like, game PTSD. <laughs> dual miniguns. Are dual miniguns available right now? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I always had problems with Swarms of Red Eyes. I never had, like, enough ammo to really go through the mission efficiently. So let's... I'll rename this thing later or delete the schematic and start over one. Just done and... SMGs. Oh, man, I forgot this game even had SMGs. Let's see. This is the base. Got the boosters were so plentiful in here. Even playing this, I'm forgetting the boosters. How how many boosters there are? All right, let's see. Uh, right arm bazooka. I don't even know if I have enough currency to get those. Hmm. Standard machine gun. Oh, here we go. Gatling and right. Let's, uh, that left arm. Ah, here we go. So, dual Gatling guns. Let's see what we got for the back. Missiles. Hmm. A lot of missiles. Mm, sniper. Scatter missile sounds like a winner, maybe. Hmm. Data only. That suggests to me that I don't have the, an equipable part there, that I can't access that. If I'm not mistaken. Checking the prices. Okay, let's see. Where where's my Okay. My cash. Let's go ahead back and see if I can. Okay, so that's there's that. Let's see. Sure okay. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this, so it's uh see oh data only let's see okay equipped menu yeah i'm not gonna be able to buy a whole lot okay so there's a right arm and i think that's about all i'm gonna be able to grab hmm well let's try that scatter missile i had my eye on that seems like something to just mow down a lot of bombs with. All right. Right back. Oh, I can get a pair of them. That's good. Left back. Probably not the best investment. Higher output generator. Oh, yeah, that would be. Let's see what we got for generators real quick. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so this is what I've got. Output and cap. 32 and 90k. The... Hmm. So that's an upgrade SSG. And we've got the KP output as well. Let's see. 
Yeah, I think that's about the best thing I'm going to do, but I'm going to lose on KP output for the moment. So let's see what happens. Can I get this? I cannot. Not yet. But I'll have it in mind for next time. Uh, let's go ahead. Out. And... Yeah, all right. Okay, so more bullets means more problems hopefully solved. I'm going to save real quick, just in case. Because I'm going to try Swarms of Red Eyes that one more time, and then i got to go ahead and sign off. For chores reasons. Yeah, that Primal Armor, that was that was an interesting new system. It's like, I've been used to playing Armored Core games where you, the bulk of the armor you have is just hunks of metal strapped to your giant robot. And now you got all this energy shield chicanery, and I'm like... I approve. <laughs> let's confirm the mission. All right, let's go ahead and skip this briefing. Get my head in the game. The very bullety shooting-y game. Mm. Primal armor. It's like I'm trying to get... How the hell would normals be able to take that? If they were, if they were able in prior gens to strap those on. Okay. What? Oh, I bet I didn't see you. Oh, here we go. That's a little better. And let's see what I can do about getting a little closer. Oh, and here's hoping this, this mission doesn't crash this time. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit... Oh, they're coming in from below. On just the right side. Okay. Mix it up a little bit. See if I can get my reticle to spread out a little bit. Just take down more of them at once. And... Is that everyone? I mean, not... It wasn't everyone for the mission. Alright, here we go. Another cloud. Hello. Oh, this frame drops as all these little dots are just crossing my vision. Ooh, get a little closer. Just a little bit. Oh boy, that is that is intimidating. Okay. Okay, this looks like it might actually work out a little better. Oh, hello! Uh, need to back up, I think, a little bit. Oh. And thank you for that, by the way. B? Oh, because, wow. A little burst fire action going here. Can they take their pets with them? Okay. Please tell me I didn't miss any yet. Quick look behind me. Doesn't look like I missed any yet. Now we got this wave here. Oh, what? Why did it why did it switch me to that? Okay. Okay. And now things have gotten dark, so things are now a million times worse. Okay, those single shots. Yeah, the, the burst fire is like... I think it's basically me getting impatient. Uh, Because it's like it's bullet travel time. I'm not used to that in uh, video games. I'm used to... I'm, I'm Sitting here thinking more of hit scan weaponry. It's like you point it and you shoot, and the moment you press the button, the thing is hit. So then you got these things with, like, like here, where the bullets have visible travel. Hello, back up a little bit. Probably be better served just shooting the damn things and clearing them out that way. Okay. Yeah, panicking. Eh, not something I usually do. I'm just definitely a bit antsy, though. Not gonna lie. A little bit antsy.
Hello. Here you go. Please tell me that's everything. Holy crap! Zero damage reported from the launch site. Mission accomplished. Perfect result. Good work. Please head back. Once again, more bullets solves everything. Thanks for the helpful advice, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here though, because I have many clothes to wash. Are they already? Oh no, I don't have to wash. Oh right, yeah. I they're washed. They need to dry. Wow. I'm getting ahead of myself. Woo. <laughs> so, oh. Ah, well, an A rank. I'll take it. It's better than my <laughs> C's and D's. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be me for today. Thank you one and all for stopping by and the follows. Thank you there. I will be back tomorrow with some Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition, and I'm going to try and pick up Wednesday with Metal Wolf Chaos XD, so I should be around all 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time in all cases. So, that's me, Navigator EX here. Thank you again, and I will see you when I see you. I'm going to mop up on my chores. And uh, yeah, don't worry too much about... Worry, I'm stammering words. I'm the only one streaming Armored Core. Darn it, world! We got Damon X Machina. It's a mech game. Look for more mech games, world. It's a thing. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to stick with Armored Core, though, until this franchise is completed. And then I'll still probably dip in from time to time. I just love my mechs. But it is what it is. I got chores that need to be wrapped up. So... That's going to be me for the day. Thanks again, one and all, and I will see you when I see you. Later, party people. Mm.